Welcome to At the Table, a play reading series. We're releasing a mini season of short 10 to 20 minute readings produced during self isolation. These readings are being captured using voice memos on smartphones. This week, we're performing Sparrow Song by Peter Charney. Be sure to also listen to our cast and playwright interview episodes to learn more about this piece and the people involved. Now, let's meet our cast. Hi, I'm Terry Burrell, and I will be playing Red. Hey, I'm Sam Tadaldi, and I will be playing Yellow. Sparrow Song by Peter Charney Two song sparrows, red and yellow, sing to each other from two trees on each side of a street in the center of a park. There is a light fall of rain and no people. The dim glow of a street lamp illuminates the darkness between them. It's quiet. Yes. I've never felt this before. Felt what? The quiet. You can't feel quiet. I do. It'll be better soon. You promise? Promise. Red tries to fall asleep. I can hear the rain. We can always hear the rain. Not like this. Not like what? There's no buzzing in the sky or clattering on the ground. Buzzing and clattering? The noises they make that always fill the air. Those are good names. I know. (laughs) You're learning quickly. All of those noises are gone. Except the rain? Yes, I've never heard the rain by itself before. It sounds so lonely. Well, you know, in other places you can. Hear only rain? Yes. Really? Yes. Just like this, all the time. No battering or clanging. Buzzing or clattering. Right. No buzzing or clattering. Only rain. That is, if it's raining. And the sounds we make. Nothing else. Where? Far from here. But for miles and miles on end, you can even hear the other animals. Nothing like where we live. Wow. Maybe we can fly there someday. Maybe. What's wrong? I think I'd miss all the sounds. You only say that because you don't know what it's like without them. I don't like only rain. It's empty. Have you been learning many new names? Yes. Any today? A few, but... Which ones? Does your branch feel heavier to you? What? Does your branch feel heavier? I don't think so. My branch feels heavy. Like the weight beneath me is a heavy burden I must walk upon. A heavy burden. Mine feels normal. My branch definitely feels heavier. I... I I don't... I think you need to breathe. I'm really worried about... Just take some deep breaths. All of the noises are gone. Come on, do it with me. In. In. And out. And out. Where do you think they've all gone? Listen to me. You need to stop this. But I haven't seen them in a long time. Ooh. The ones that always pass by. Ones who pass by? I do not remember the name for them. The sun comes up and I see them pass by down below. People? Yes, people. They're gone. Maybe that's why it's so quiet. I guess, but... Look, the sun is hardly even up today. If I were the people, I wouldn't pass by either. I'm sure they're just waiting for the sun. You really think so? Of course I do. Red looks down at a garbage can that has been knocked over. There are dirty napkins and towels empty jugs of water, and empty cartons of milk, all spread over the street below. What new names did you learn today? Sign. Sign? With markings to tell the people things. Oh, that's a good one, especially where we live, because... Do you think we'll ever see them again? Who? The people. Ugh, here you go again, on and on about the people. I'm just... 
I'm worried for them. Look, the people are going to do whatever the people want to do. I know, but... It's not our responsibility. But I really think something is wrong. You know the people don't come out in the rain. Some do. I still see them. They just pass by even faster. Yes, but maybe not today. Can we just check on them? Check on them? Yes. Where? Surely they're in the hard places. You mean the buildings? Yes, the buildings. Yes, I'm sure they are, but I just want to fly by and see the people in the buildings. You've never wanted to see them before. I've never been worried before. I've told you, it's no use getting upset over. I'm not upset. I just want to check on them. There's no reason to. If you don't care, then I'll. And besides, it's too windy to leave. We can still fly perfectly fine. I'm not leaving this tree. Then I'll go without you. Listen to me. I am listening. You have to breathe. You are forgetting to breathe. I am breathing. See? In, out, and in, and out. How can you not care? I do. I do care. You don't. No. You sit there like everything's normal. Like nothing's happened, but the sun comes up and nothing. No buzzing in the sky, no clattering on the ground, nothing. Every time the sun comes up, it's the same. You know it's the same every time. But this time, nothing is passing by. No people are passing by. I may know less than you, and I may not remember the name for this, and the name for this, and the name for this, but I know when something doesn't feel right, and I know this doesn't feel right. I can only hear the rain. Okay. Okay. We can go. Thank you. Red and yellow fly through the sky in perfect unison. A pas de deux. They land on each side of a windowsill of an old apartment building. They look inside. The dim glow of a television illuminates the darkness between them. There. You see? What? I can't see anything. They are sitting down and watching television, just like they normally do. I still think something isn't right. I'm flying home. Look. The television is set to a news station. The screen shows many scenes of people running in panic. It is catastrophic. See? That's what I felt. It's all gone. Yes. The people don't pass by us anymore because they can't. They have nowhere else to go. The television turns off and two people inside embrace. They continue to hold each other. You know what I will miss the most? About what? The people. What will you miss most about the people? I'll miss the way they sit with us. Or sit by us. By our homes. But now we can sit by them for a little while. I don't think they ever paid us any mind. Maybe most of them don't, but some do. Some would stay. Some would stay for what seemed like a very long time. And every so often I would look down and see one of them looking up at me, a people, and I would... You mean a person? Yes, a person. I would look down and I would see that person looking back up at me. And I would know for a brief moment that I'm not alone here that we are both not alone here. We all share a home. I'm going to fly back. You go ahead. You're not coming? I'd like to sit here a little longer by their homes, if that's okay. Okay. Thank you for believing me. (laughs) Yes. I'll see you when the sun rises. Red quickly flies away leaving Yellow alone on the windowsill, looking inside for what may be a very long time, until we can no longer hear only the rain. End of play. At the Table, a play reading series is produced by Charging Moose Media. Our artistic director and senior producer is Rachel Flynn. Editor is Ned Donovan. Associate producer is Megan Bagala. Music this week is by Marcus Thorne Bagala. 
Special thanks to our playwright Peter Charney and our cast Terry Burrell and Sam Tidaldi. Be sure to tune in to our cast and playwright interview episodes where you can learn more about the team behind this piece. See you next time.